There is an application called Mutility within Metasploitable. We are going to require the IP address of the Mutility application, so that we can intercept the packets using Burp Suite. Run an ifconfig for that information. Start up a browser session using the IP address of the application, in my case it's 192.168.1.134. This will get us to the simple interface for Metasploitable, which is a hacker's dream. The list of applications is shown, such as DVWA and Mutility. As we are going to be pen testing the Mutility website, click the link to get to it and familiarize yourself with the interface. It's fairly basic, actually it looks like it is from the early 1990s. It does have a database of usernames and passwords to log in to specific accounts. In this test, we are going to require two browsers to be passing through the Burp Suite proxy, so that we can look closely at the packets. So start up Burp Suite and check the proxy settings. To do this, click Pass Temporary Project and start Burp. It can take a while to start sometimes, so be as patient. So what you need to do here is just check the proxy settings within Burp Suite by clicking on the Proxy tab. There is an Intercept Off and Open Browser button, which we will come back to. Click on the Proxy Settings tab and it will show the IP address of the loopback and its port, which is currently set to 8080. For now, we are going to check the proxy settings within the Firefox browser. To achieve this, go to the three dots within Firefox on the top right and click on Settings on the menu. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see the Network Settings button and this is where you configure the proxy to match Burp Suite. Click on the Radio button, so it is set to be the loopback IP address and port 80 when you visit Mutility. For the first part of this test, we are going to visit the Mutility website using the built-in browser. We need to turn on the Intercept is on service, so that Burp Suite can intercept each packet and show the contents. Once you type in the IP address of Mutility in the built-in browser, you will need to click on the Forward button, so that each packet can be allowed through and you can get to the website page. The website is now visible. What we want to do here is go to the login page for the site and log in with details of a user that I have taken from a previous pen test. In this case, the username is admin and the password is admin pass. Once again, click the forward button to allow the packets through and you will be able to see the website login and view the contents of the packet that has logged in. The information we really want to get our hands on is the cookie information. Copy this cookie session ID information into a notepad file for later on. Keep this browser open and switch to the second browser. This is what the second browser is for, we are going to test the security of the website by using the session cookie from the previous login and test if the second browser is allowed in or not. Revisit the proxy settings within Firefox again, just to confirm it is using port 80. Perform the same task as the first browser, but navigating to the Mutility website login page. Click on the forward button if you need to. Once again, make sure that the intercept is on, so you can grab the packets again. At this point, we want to make sure that you take the cookie details that you copied earlier are still on your notepad. You can see the new session ID details in the packet on the left, taken from Firefox. The notepad file is on the screen with the old cookie ID, so copy this and then paste this into the cookie ID of the packet that is currently showing on Burp Suite. By hitting the forward button here, you are essentially allowing this packet to be forwarded to Mutility and as you can now see, the application has allowed that packet in. You are now logged in as Monkey, the admin username from the previous session from the first browser and you didn't even need their login details. And this is how you pen test a website using cookie session IDs, using the Burp Suite application. Thank you for watching this video from the G-Man Security Channel today. Please like, share and subscribe today for more useful tips and videos.